All right, guys. So one of the things I love to do is I like to go on different forums and different places and try to answer questions for people uh, and maybe even turn them into videos. So this one was actually based off of a question I found on uh, Stack Overflow. And I think that a lot of people don't really understand uh, the new syntax. So I'm going to create a small series called um, probably something like simple combinations or basic combinations. Uh, and I'm going to take very uh, basic ideas and show how they work together. So this will be called uh, this will be the first one in that series. I'm going to call it Code Tutorials. I'll say Simple Combinations. Simple Combinations 1. Okay. And we'll go ahead and create that. I'm going to go to my desktop. Uh, code. Let's say. Actually, I'll just create it as is. Okay. So Code Tutorials underscore Simple Combinations. I'll create it in there. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a very simple app where I'm going to have three buttons of different colors and they'll each modify a counter. So what I want to do first is I want to create just um, a button, OK? All right. Actually, at first I'm going to do I'm going to create a, a vertical stack where I can stack three items, OK? And in this vertical stack, I'm going to create a for each loop, OK? Uh, and then in this for each, I'm going to say from zero dot dot less than two. Okay, it's similar to a for loop, and I'll and I'll call the index. I'll say i n. That's how I can refer to the index within the closure. Then for each one, I'm going to create a button. Okay, and the button is going to have an action, and its contents will be equal to a text that might say this color is. Okay, and then I'm gonna say, let's just say this color is blah for a second, okay? So now, if I hit resume, I should get three buttons on top of each other that just say this color is blah. So now inside of content view, I'll start adding some more stuff in here. So I'll create, um, oh, this is our two items, so I want three, so I'll say zero. This is less than three, not less than or equal to. Okay, and so up here, I'm going to create a, uh, let's say, var list of colors. Okay, it's going to be equal to. Okay. So some pieces are still the same from the old Swift. Okay, but now we have color instead of like UI color, for instance. We have color dot red. Okay, and then lastly, I'll just do it blue, green. All right, and then I'll say up to the list of colors dot count. Okay. And the biggest thing is, is you can't have any sort of logic inside of these unless you're within a closure. So for instance, I can put logic in here because this is an actual action. This is like a, a function. You can almost think of it as like a function. I can write things. I can write potato, for instance, right? But outside of a closure, you cannot put any sort of, um, you cannot put any sort of uh, logic at all. So what I'm going to do in here is, so I can't say, for instance, I can't say let this color equal list of colors i okay it's not going to like that it's going to give me an error you'll see it in one second it's going to say a closure containing a declaration cannot be used within the function view builder so essentially this whole thing is us creating a function from here to here okay it's and it's we're using a function called view builder and in here we cannot use any sort of logic unless we're inside of another closure within that closure so what i'm going to do now instead is i can just come here and say this color is and I can say list of colors I, and then maybe I want that description, right? So I can say that description, okay? But I could not have done, for instance, the previous thing and said like this. I couldn't have said this color dot description because this line right here is what's invalid, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come here and say uh, this or actually, list of colors uh, I dot description. Okay, and then I'm going to give that a uh, background color. Which, uh, the background color will be just be list of colors I. Colors I. Okay, and we're technically within a closure here, so it's going to tell me I need to write self dot. Okay, and then the last thing is that um, we're going to add one thing above these four each's, and this is just going to be text. Okay. I'm going to put a counter up here, okay? And so, so var counter, 
is equal to zero. And this has to be a state variable, okay? A state variable it has to be a state variable in order for me to be able to modify it somewhere else, okay? I'm just gonna make it private because they advise private variables. So now down here, I'm gonna say um, the text will will be reading counter, okay? So essentially, when, it, when it's a state variable now, anywhere where it's being used, if this number changes, it gets updated automatically. So it's listening for that change, okay? So now down here, I can say the action of every one of these buttons will be exactly the same. It will be self.counter plus equal one. Okay, so now when I press on any of these buttons, if I hit resume, I should see three buttons and all of them should do the same thing. So I have to hit play in order for me to actually use these. Okay. They all do the same thing, okay? And that's that. Okay, so that's how I got to use three different ones. One thing I can do really quickly actually is what I can do, I can add some padding to these so it's not as ugly. Padding. Okay. And I can even give them a corner radius. Uh, maybe like five. Okay, actually, I'll put this padding on the inside here. Okay. That's a little easier to look at, right? And then we can't see the blue text here because it's blue on blue, so I'll just say the foreground color dot white. I actually found the styling in here to be very similar to the styling of like CSS or something of that nature. Okay. But that's that. Okay. So. That's how you can create three buttons of different colors, okay, and you can move through them with four each and make them all modify a counter. Alright, if you have any questions, just shoot me a message in the comments below.